Hiya, I'm Jasper, and welcome to your video review for Live Free or Die Hard, also known as Die Hard 4. So, this movie is starring Bruce Willis and Justin Long. Justin Long is a much needed respite for this because Bruce Willis play he's just like, he's old and he's tired and he's just like, ugh, just like tired of this shit. Um, and Justin Long is just lampshading the hell out of him at all times. He's just making jokes about him, making jokes to him. He's just, Justin Long, I don't know how many of, lines is, of his lines were or were not scripted, but he is fantastic in this. I like Justin Long and in general, but he just definitely elevates this movie and makes it a whole lot more fun. That being said, yes, John McClane is an old guy, but damn, I don't know what happened between three and four, but Bruce Willis is looking fit as fuck in this movie. Like, this movie was, like, what, 20... 2007? And the first movie was 1988? Like, and he looks the fittest that he ever has in this movie. Maybe it's just down to good wardrobe, but looking good. <laughs> um, I was annoyed in the third one, when he and Holly were separated, I was very annoyed in this one that instead of them making it up, they are divorced. So I'm annoyed at that, and I'm also annoyed that he doesn't have a great relationship with his daughter. But at the same time, I can oh, I can understand the daughter thing, because yeah, if they're divorced, then that probably isn't going to go well. And then also just teenagers in general and parents don't get along. Um, I was trying to figure out where the fuck I knew his daughter from. I was like, I know I've seen you in something. Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Ramona Flowers. So you're welcome. Because it was bugging me, because I'm like... She's badass, and I feel like I've seen her other badass things, and I have. So, just, um, Scott Pilgrim. Anywho, I am glad that finally there is not obnoxiously dumb police in this one, unlike the other, like the first one and the second one, especially. Uh, it's kind of funny that his daughter's in this, because she's in it for, like, a real, like, initial scene to establish, like, hey, I have his daughter, and we have a relationship, or don't have a relationship. Uh, but then you don't see her again until like an hour and 18 minutes into this film, which is just crazy, but whatever. Uh, I like that the guy from District B-13 is in this. He's fun. A uh, little bit little bit of humorous shown in this character, just saying. Um, but this movie, it definitely is where the Die Hard series started to jump the shark because Bruce Willis in the first one was an ordinary man in extraordinary circumstances. Still basically that in the second one where he was just, he wasn't even trying to do things there and then uh, like he just got sucked into hey, this is the police thing, I'm noticing some bad guys, let me just go investigate, oh shit, now, and then it just kind of spiraled. Number three, there was a vengeance quest against him, and then, again, like, because of the technological and bomb possibilities uh, for that, you know, that's what forced him to, like, kept, keep on being, like, the single-man action hero for this is because they couldn't get so many involved because of the communication problems in that. And now it's fine. But in this one, like, he's throwing cars at helicopters and just... I don't know, man. It just... He seems to... It's sort of like how Vin Diesel in Fast and Furious 1, you know, it's all about family, but he's just, like, a normal guy. But as the as they progress, it turns out that he's, like, a superhero with a car. He's not, like... <laughs> Bruce Willis is not Vin Diesel in this. But he's definitely trending in that direction. And... Uh, overall, I enjoyed the movie. But there are some things that really bug me about this movie. Like, there's this scene in this movie, with the F-35. Cool looking aircraft, but it, like, there is no world in which a thing that can hover and fire guns or missiles is going to have problems taking out a semi-truck moving at, like, 35 miles an hour. Not only that, but you are not going to move your hovering vehicle, whether it's a helicopter or a cool-ass F-35, close enough to make you in danger from a just normal ass semi truck. And this F 35 is just bullshit. He does all of the stupid things. So, kind of spoilers, like minor spoilers, the F 35 is told that this semi truck is a terrorist thing. So, it shoots missiles from like here through a like overhead highway from where the truck is down here. So, shockingly, the missiles miss and hit the highway. And so, then like the F 35 comes around here and is firing at that hitting all of the support beams, which start collapsing the bridge. And then the, the semi-truck starts going up this, like, weird spiral up the highway thing to get onto, I don't know what fucking overpasses. And the F-35 is, like, firing and all that, and, like, the high, like this whole section is, like, coming down. It's like, 
even if that truck was full of explosives that somehow wouldn't be set off by your gunfire or your missiles, you are causing billions of dollars worth of critical infrastructure damage by firing at him like an incompetent asshole. It just blows my mind how that made the final cut. And the, and it gets taken out. The F-35 gets taken out by the semi-truck in the, one of the dumbest ways possible. It's just, it's so dumb. It's so dumb. <sighs> so, again, overall a good movie. Some dumb bits like that in it, but... Bruce Willis is great in this. A lot of the side characters are fun. There's even Tuvok. I mean, it's, he's not playing Tuvok, but the guy who plays Tuvok is in this, and I like that. Side characters are fun. General plotline is fun. I feel like it coined the term fire sale, but it's a fun time, and I enjoyed the movie overall, even with some of the um, bit of ridiculousnesses, because most of them, not the F-35 bit, but most of them were fun enough that I was just like, ah, that's cool enough that I'll just forgive it for being a little crazy that it's that cool or that that happened. So, but yeah, kind of a fun time. That's all I have for this one. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Bye.